In this module, I will discuss about the genetics of cancer, role of oncogenes in the development of cancer. Now question arises, what is meant by genetics of cancer, what is oncogene? Now Peyton Rouse in the year 1910 he has given the answer in his landmark experiment with Rouse sarcoma virus. He discovered a tumor inducing virus which is called RSV or Rouse sarcoma virus. It causes sarcoma in chicken, sarcoma which is a cancer of connective tissue. Now genome of RSV virus or RNA virus consists of the following genes GED which synthesize protein of viral code, POL which is responsible for the synthesis of reverse transcriptase, ENV that is it responsible for the synthesis of protein of viral envelope. Then one of the most important gene that is the SRC, the SRC gene which synthesizes tyrosine kinase which is responsible for causing cancer. Now if you delete the SRC gene then tumor will not develop. So it has been identified that SRC gene is a oncogene. So this is the one of the landmark discovery from where it has been discovered that oncogene is responsible for causing cancer. Now one of the another most important gene that is retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma or RB gene which is responsible for causing tumor of the eye. Actually RB gene it is a one of the first discovered tumor suppressor gene. Now this retinoblastoma or tumor of the eye it inherit also it develop sporadically. Now in case of retinoblastoma inherited retinoblastoma if one of the parent is heterozygous it means RB minus and RB plus and another parent if it is a homozygous now child will be here you can show this child in this model in this child child is heterozygous with RB minus and RB plus so in this condition heterozygous condition cancer of the eye or retinoblastoma will not develop but when both the genes will be mutated that is both RB minus and there is in the both they are RB minus. So if the both the alleles are mutated only then this retinoblastoma will develop. So it is a two heat mechanisms and Nutsen in the year in the 1900 in 70s he has first discovered this hypothesis and propose this hypothesis that is two heat is required for development of cancer that is both the allele should be mutated here RB minus is mutated in both the alleles in homozygous condition retinoblastoma or tumor of eye develops. Now this RB gene is located in the chromosome number 13 in 14.2 band. Now this retinoblastoma, the tumor of the eye also develop sporadically. Now in the sporadic retinoblastoma, if the both the parents are homozygous, that is both the alleles are normal, that is RB plus alleles. Now child is also have both the alleles RB plus. 
Now, if one mutation occur, that is we call as first hit, first hit, so one of the gene is mutated sporadically, that is Rb minus Rb plus. Now in the second hit, second Rb allele is also mutated at the time only retinoplastoma or tumor of the eye develops. So this is the Nutson hypothesis that is the two hit that is two mutation is requ required for the development of any type of that is development of this retinoblastoma. In this case this retinoblastoma here what happens it is a deletion mutation. So this is the one of the most important uh, hypothesis which prove that more than one hit or multi hit mutations or more than one mutation is requ uh, required for development of cancer cancer now this retinoblastoma or rb gene it is also act as your tumor suppressor gene now this tumor suppressor gene or retinoblastoma it plays an important role in control of cell cycle. So here in this cell, in this diagram, in this figure, we are showing that how RB gene is regulating cell cycle. So RB protein, it is a protein that is RB gene synthesize RB protein. Now when this RB protein which molecular weight is 105 kilo delta, 105 kilo delta. Now this protein in the early G1 phase of the cell cycle, it paired with or it attached with e 2 f transcription factor. So this PRB protein when attached with E2F transcription factor, it prevents the transcription and regulate the cell cycle. Now in the later late G1 phase, this RB protein is phosphorylated with the help of cycling and cycling dependent kinase. When it is phosphorylated, then E2F is released, this E2F transcription factor is released and it activate target genes and cell progression occurs. It passes through S phase, then G2 and M, cell division occurs. So here there is a rhythmic control of cell cycle through your RB gene and RB protein. So if there is a, any deletion mutation or if there is any mutation in RB gene, then this rhythmic progression of cell cycle, it hampers as a result of which unregulated proliferation of cell occurs and tumor develops. So this is the one of the reason for the development of tumor or cancer. So RB gene, which is responsible for your controlling the cell cycle, if it is mutated as a result of which your cell cycle alters and cancer develops. So in its normal condition, this PRB or RB gene, it acts as a tumor suppressor gene. Next it comes that how the cell cycle arrest is controlled by other genes. Now another gene is there, it is called TP53 which synthesizes a protein P53 which is a one of the most important protein P53 whose molecular weight is 53 kilo delta. Now this P53 is activated when 
cell is under stress. When DNA damage occurs, then P53 become activated and P53 protein synthesized. Now P53, it stimulate the P21 gene and as a result of which P21 protein forms and it control or it inhibits cyclin dependent kinase or phosphorylation processes inhibited by this P21 gene. Now as a result of which PRB is hypophosphorylated and E2F transcription factor it is inhibited and target gene is also inhibited and no protein formed as a result of which cell cycle arrest takes place. P53 also acts in another line that is it is called in another pathway it is called apoptotic pathway or cell death or suicidal pathway that is P53 activate another gene it is called box gene which is a pro apoptotic gene now there is a, another gene is there which is called bcl2 which is an anti apoptotic gene now when box is synthesized it antagonizes bcl2 or anti apoptotic gene as a result of which when box is activated BCL2 synthesis is inhibited and apoptotic pathway is initiated and cell death occurs. So this is the two pathways which is controlled by P53 genes and this is the way by which progression of damaged DNA or altered cell is arrested. So P53 is also called a tumor suppressor gene. Now there are some other types of cancers which are developed by chromosomal rearrangement. So one of the important type of cancer which is developed due to translocation, reciprocal translocation is chronic myelogenous leukemia or CML. In this type of cancer, there is a reciprocal translocation between chromosome number 9 and chromosome 22. As a result of this translocation, if new chromosome develops, this is called Philadelphia chromosome. Philadelphia chromosome, this was first discovered in Philadelphia state of USA. So it's named as Philadelphia chromosome. In Philadelphia chromosome, there is a fusion of two genes. One is BCR gene, which is present in chromosome number 22, and one is CABL gene, which is present in the tip of chromosome number 9. When both the genes are fused, that is BCR and CABL, BCR, its full name is black point cluster and ABL gene is abelson murine leukemia. So when the both the genes are fused, now ABL gene which is responsible for the synthesis of tyrosine kinase, it synthesizes in excess amount as a result of excessive proliferation of white blood cell takes place and chronic myelogenous leukemia develops. So translocation plays an important role in the development of chronic myelogenous leukemia. Another type of cancer is there, it's called Burkitt's lymphoma. Burkitt's lymphoma is also a cancer of white blood cell. Here there is a translocation between chromosome 8 and 14. When there is a reciprocal translocation between chromosome number 8 and 14, as a result of which CMIC gene, which is present in the chromosome number 8, and the tip of the chromosome number 8, is translocated to the chromosome number 14. So here what happens? 
immunoglobulin heavy chain, which is present in the chromosome number 14, and simic gene, they come side by side. They juxtaposed to simic, juxtaposed to IGH chain gene. Now, these two fusion genes activate scenic as a result of which there is an activation of scenic oncogene occurs and WBC or white blood cell proliferate excessively and Burkitt's lymphoma develops. So, here also there is a reciprocal translocation which lead to the development of cancer. As we have discussed in the first part of our module, that is multi-hit mechanism, there is more than one mutation is responsible for the development of cancer. So one of the important example is your colorectal cancer, where we find that several mutations are responsible for the development of metastatic colorectal cancer. Now here we have described the genetic pathways of metastatic colorectal cancer. Here what you see in the first box that is normal intestinal epithelium which is developed to dysplastic epithelium due to inactivation of APCG, adenomatous polyposis coli. This gene is located in chromosome number 5. So first dysplastic epithelium develops. What is dysplastic epithelium? Dysplastic epithelium means that the cells are irregular in shape and nucleus size is very large which is further modified and further developed into early adenoma. These are benign tumor. Now this early adenoma, there is an activation of Keras gene, which is located in chromosome number 12. As a result of activation of Keras gene, intermediate adenoma forms. Now this internoma, intermediate adenoma develops into late adenoma due to the inactivation of the genes located in chromosome number 18Q, chromosome number 18Q. Now this late adenoma is developed into carcinoma due to the inactivation of TP53 gene which is located in chromosome number 17. So, carcinoma is the cancer cell of epithelial cells, that is the, is the cancer of epithelial cell, carcinoma. Now, this carcinoma then develops into metastatic colorectal cancer due to the inactivation of other tumor suppressor gene. So, this is the one of the most important examples of genetic pathways of cancer. That is how cancer develops. So here it is a showing an example of multi-heat model. That is multiple mutations are responsible for development of cancer. In this module, we have made some interesting discussions about oncogene, tumor suppressor gene and how cell cycle regulation occurs and how a cancer can develop due to the mutation or development of oncogenes. Key concepts of the module is provided. Books, we are providing list of books for further readings. Quizzes are there. We have also provided study material so that you can download for your further study. Thank you for participation in our online course.